it's May 22nd and this is how my jet star tomato plant looks it's looking really good it's uh, setting on a few tomatoes and has some nice clusters of blooms so I'm thinking we should do pretty well with this one this year plant just looks really extremely healthy Here we are June 4th and our jet star is looking really well. It's got starting to set on lots of tomatoes. And in a few weeks we should be getting lots from this plant. Still loaded with blooms. We're having pretty good weather and should be cool enough to still set on plenty. I'll start trimming the suckers off as soon as it starts to get real hot. But this one's going to be loaded, I think. It's June 11th, and this is our Jet Star. By far, the Jet Star is set on more tomatoes than any plant we have so far. We have some of the first sets of blooms down at the bottom, and it's setting on more as the plant grows. It's probably over four feet tall now. It'll grow out of the top of the cage soon. I may have to plant later next year. It's June 30th and this is our Jet Star tomato plant. We got a couple down at the bottom that are ready to pick. I'm going to be picking those today. But I pruned this one pretty good so now the tomatoes are in view. It was coming out the top of the cage but I trimmed all that up. July 20th and this is our Jet Star. It's produced better than any plant we have this year. As you can see, there's plenty of fruit down at the bottom. Oops. And we've already picked probably six to eight off of this one. And there's even some up towards the top, so we'll be getting some off this plant for a while. But I'm really happy with it. I'd highly recommend this variety for sure.